excited. Oh, it does so nice in the trees. So on this day in Florida, we went to Discovery Cove. We decided to book a VIP cabana package which accommodates six to eight guests and it includes a personalised buoy delivery while you do the dolphin swim, um, which you'll see later on in the video. You also get a host and our host's name was June and this is her walking us through the park, showing us where the restaurants are. It's all inclusive food. You can go and eat as much as you want and drink as much as you want. Um, with the VIP cabana, you also get an exclusive animal encounter. You get reserved seating at the restaurants and you get a guaranteed dolphin lagoon view. Um, you get towel service, you get a snack basket and you get a fridge stocked with Coke and water and June was continuously stocking this all through the day. She let us take things home. It was one of the best VIPs that you can possibly do. We also paid extra to do the Flamingo Mingle, which for people who know me, was a big deal. Not only do I love flamingos, but I'm terrified of birds. <laughs> so I'm very proud of myself for doing it. All in all, um, totally VIP is the way to go. So I'm so glad that Christy suggested it and that we paid for it and that we did it because it was an awesome day. The weather was not too good, meaning it was actually a bit of a chilly day, uh, which is unusual obviously for Florida, even in winter. So the water was quite freezing and we were a bit cold. And so you will see us wearing our big jackets, but it didn't ruin the day at all. And then by the end of the day, when we went to do our dolphin swim, the sun was out and it was a really, really nice day. This is the Grand Reef where you'll be snorkeling and the snorkeling you do whenever you want. Okay, all waterways open at nine. You're going to be out here. Oh, look. 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 So with the flamingo mingle, we got to herd them along and got to walk with them and take them to a special part where we then all got to sit down. We got given bowls with food in it for them. It kind of looked like dog biscuits. <laughs> and we got to feed them and they all came up to us and ate the food. We did have some young ones with us, which are the gray and pink ones. So that was really cool to see like the different colors and how they turn from gray to pink. Um, and then we got to go to a special area and have more photos taken and get in the water with them. One of them really took a shine to Heath and um, liked to groom his hairy toes and hairy face. And it was such a cool experience. I was scared the whole time, but it was so awesome to see them up close. They are beautiful and just, oh, it was the best. So with the VIP animal experience, you don't actually know what animal that you're going to get. We were really, really hoping for one animal in particular, but we were thinking we might have gotten a bird. Have a look what we got. Here we go, E. 
questions and talking about otters. And when you go in this hole here around the corner, that's the big glass window where you can see them through the water, wow. from the water. But when they step away, we can look through the glass and see if you can see them. Oh, there's one. Are you going in the you water? Yeah. yeah, that's going to be oh, warm. Oh my God, have a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amanda, you need to get paid in there. Standing up. Oh. Are we okay for our wet suits to go in here? Yeah. yeah. I just don't know if we can throw okay. rainwater. Emily! Yeah, No, I know. I don't want to get out. <laughs> the next thing we're going to have a warm beach. Come stand in the, in the warm water. Oh, no. They're in. <laughs> They're never going to get out. I know, right? <laughs> so if they go in the cave over there, they're around the window. Okay, perfect. Okay, you're right now. One lap. Mm -hmm. yeah. Back to there because we've got to get to our next thing. Yeah. Okay. It's so I want a bird to get in and go, oh, I guess. Going with the dolphin from the dolphin. Oh, yeah. Watch it that way. Just to get down and beating so it's down. There was also an aviary that you could go into and feed the birds. That's all I'm going to say about that one. This was people doing the dolphin swim just outside of our cabana. So this was basically what we were doing later on. Um, we weren't allowed to take recording devices in. They had their own photographer, so you're about to see those photos, but that was the lagoon that we got to do our experience in as well.
also paid extra to do the sea venture, which is where you get to go um, underwater on a walking tour wearing a dive helmet. Um, two of us did not complete the sea venture. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you guess which two. Both their last names start with V. Um, but from all accounts of everybody else, it was an awesome experience. Um, so you will see some photos coming up. This was the lady just explaining to us all how it works, explaining to us the um, signals for when you're underneath the water, if you need to come up, things like that. So um, they really did give you a good explanation of how it works and that you would be okay. Um, so yeah, no, from all accounts by the people who actually did it, it was an awesome experience and well worth the extra money. I got in and the cold water hit my face and I couldn't get 